teachers from Freeport Area Schools have been wanting to develop uh, curricula based on nanoscience and nanotechnology. And over the last 18 months or so, we've been partnering with them develop, to develop parts of their curricula that involve doing research activities here at the Center for Functional Nanomaterials at Brookhaven National Laboratory. So today, uh, some of the faculty will be here doing the experiments, and on the screen that you see behind me, students, faculty, as well as uh, administrators like superintendents and uh, the principal will be watching as the experiments are going on live and in person. This is the first time that we've ever done this, having high school teachers as well as high school students participate in research activities here at CFN. It's really exciting for us and we're really look, looking forward to seeing what kinds of discoveries they make. Good morning to everybody. I'm Fernando Camino. and. I'm in charge of the scanning electron microscope, and I'll tell you about it, but first I want to um, make you think a little about this nanoscale and nanoparticles. Oh, it's amazing, amazing opportunity. I have a 15-year-old preparing to go to college, and an eight-year-old. I know what the pipeline looks like <laughs> to make uh, young, young kids go to science, especially, and this is a great opportunity to motivate them to get them to apply to science and engineering so the nanoparticles careers. are in this area. Actually, they are everywhere, okay? But the only, way, the only place we can see them is where the electrons come in from the column, from up in the column all the way. My job, actually, in the research department is to keep them interested in science. One way to keep students interested in science is to allow them, first of all, hands-on work and also uh, to look at a certain level of sophistication that's possible in science research. It's definitely a uh, collaboration that's important for the school, the district, and especially the students. I think we have an opportunity to expand this not only to other parts of the Freeport Area School District, but other parts of Long Island and New York State. 